All right, I'm out here today with the Tampa Bay Fossil Club. We are at the Peace River, just kind of hanging out. And um, just put three shovelfuls in my sifter. And in just three shovels, I was able to find all of this. Mostly shark teeth, horse tooth fragment. I mean, this place is just riddled. All right. I love it when they're just sitting right on top like that. Two nice teeth. Well, one nice tooth, one kind of beaten up. <laughs> Still, I'm amazed how many shark teeth are in this area and, oh man, you know what that is. It has serrations. That's a fraglodon. Oh, what could have been. That's a nice tiger. All right, I just stumbled across a pretty nice hemi. There's another tooth. Oop, don't go away, Sifter. Oh, that is a nice tiger. It's probably one of the nicest teeth I've found today so far. Here's another example of stuff that you find in the river that you don't expect. I was like, what the heck is this? And I broke it in half and I'm like, oh my gosh, I think, I think it's just graphite. Yep, I found myself the inner of a pencil. I mean, look at this, I can just write with it. You never know what you're gonna find out here. Pretty cool. Literally right after finding the graphite pencil, I found this beauty. It's a bull shark, lower. It's one of the bigger ones I've found so far. Came across another nice tooth in the sifter. Looks like it's a lemon shark. Oh, that's nice. So, let's just move my hand over the sifter and uh, cut myself. Unfortunately, it was not on a shark tooth because then that would actually be kind of cool and I could say I got shark attacked, but no, I just cut myself. It is but a flesh wound. The dangers of fossil hunting, I guess. There is some sharp limestone in here and sometimes it gets stuck in between the screens. And uh, if you're not careful, you can definitely cut yourself on it. And that is apparently what I just did. So, be safe out there. All right, found another nice tooth in the sifter. Pretty nice looking tiger. Sweet. Come here, buddy. Oh. Found another dragonfly nymph. Cool. All right, buddy. Be gone. See you later, dude. All right, back to fossil hunting. Wow. Do you even see that? Itty bitty teeth. <sighs> this is one of those please be whole moments, but I can tell that it's not. That would have been a real nice hemi. Real big. 
All right, you know how you always say this is my last uh, couple of scoops for the day and then you have to do a couple more anyway? Well, I am really, really glad I did because I'm gonna end up so you can see it in the sifter. You see it? I just found, I think this is a taper tooth. That is pretty cool. Broken at the root, but still, that's awesome. I've never found a taper tooth before. Cool. Alright, I think that's it for me. Oh, my back, my back, my back. Just wanted to thank everybody for uh, subscribing and watching my videos. It really means a lot to me. I'm just doing this for fun and trying to take people along for the ride to learn about fossils and see all the cool stuff you can find. So um, thank you guys very much for 200 subscribers and keep them coming. I'd like to know what kind of fossils your favorites are. So leave a comment in the comment section below with what your favorite fossils are. And I encourage everyone to go out there and do some fossil hunting. Just make sure you read up on the laws for your state. My biggest shark tooth I found at Venice Beach diving, four and a half inches. What kind of tooth was it? Megalodon. How many subscribers do you have? 200. Oh, Jesus.